-hmm. Welcome back. Welcome to the van. Welcome to the channel. Welcome. Just welcome. This one's something that is kind of like, it's my little secret. Not really a secret. You know what? I'm sure a lot of people do it, but it's one thing I rely heavily on when I'm editing, and that's the brush tool. Let's just dive straight into it. It's super effective. I'm going to do a quick edit on this photo, just like, just go blast through it, and then I'll like dive into actually how I use the brush and everything that goes along with that. Let's do a little screen recording. Start, re there we go. We're recording? We're recording. All right, we're on. Let's just dive into it. So I've got this photo that I picked from Iceland. It's got a really dark foreground and a really light sky, but I can see that up in the sky here, there is a lot of detail that I can really, really draw out. And the same thing with the foreground. What I'm gonna do first, I'm just gonna do that standard editing. Remove those two. Just sharpen this sucker up just a little bit. Remembering to hold Alt to see what I'm sharpening. I'll go over and readjust this afterwards, but I'm just gonna get the, the bases out first. Sky up just a touch, just a, just a simple, simple S curve there. Um, I'm gonna go to the highlights. I'm gonna drop that sucker right down and just like level it out. Bring up the base. So now I've got a fairly flat image. Bring that contrast in just a touch, and I'm gonna warm this sucker up just a little bit. Raise that tint. Um, just gonna check on the blacks, holding Alt. Just gonna the blacks just there. The whites, I don't want to make sure anything's blown out, but I want it to be f a little bit brighter. Oh, okay, that's a lot. Bring those highlights down and exposure down a touch. And now you can see that we're starting to get that that cloud cover it's starting to come out now. Like it, you can see there's this color in there that you just that we're going to bring out with the brush tool. I'm going to hit K and you know start off. Two fingers up, slide up to make the brush bigger. And I'm just gonna like paint this entire sky. I'm just gonna give it a whole big paint brushing. Now, I'm not gonna worry about the horizon just yet. We're just gonna soften the clouds up and we're gonna drop the exposure. So, you know, you can see the clouds starting to come out now. Just getting there. This is, this is gonna be a, a process where I'm gonna hit, like, just keep brushing and brushing different parts. I'm gonna warm that sucker up again just a little bit like layer upon layer upon layer. I'm gonna bring that texture down as well. Contrast up, highlights down. There we go, there we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Alrighty then, I've had too much coffee. No, I haven't. There's no, there's no such thing. Now I'm gonna go over, see there's these parts that are kinda of like a bit warmer than the other ones. I'm gonna go over those and we're gonna warm those up even more. Crank that, crank the tint. There we go, now we're getting somewhere. Bring that contrast up, that clarity down. I'm gonna keep bringing the clarity down because I want it to, I want the sky to be soft and like, kind of etherical looking. But I am gonna bring that dehaze up. Now we're starting to get the colors really coming out. I'm just gonna keep brushing and just it's kind of a process. You just you just keep going until you find that 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 sweet spot. One of these filters. I'm gonna hit M. It's gonna bring up this option. We're gonna darken the top so that the bottom pops a lot more. Gonna get rid of that. So if you want to show or hide the overlay, just hit O and it'll toggle that on and off. And we're off. Off. There we go. Now I'm gonna draw up this sucker right down. Alright, this guy's looking okay at the moment. We'll get back to that. I'm going to hit M again, and I'm just going to affect this bit down the bottom. Now, I don't want to affect this horizon level. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to masking, and hit on, and hit luminance, and hold option, and then I'm going to slide this range to see what I'm actually affecting. Now, that's the, the wrong side. I just want to affect the dark, so... Whatever's highlighted is what you're actually affecting there. Now that I figured out the lower part of the image and like the horizon line and what I'm actually affecting, actually I'm going to hit O and show you how it is only affecting this this line here. Everything above it, using that range mask, has been unselected. 
Now we're going to work on that. I'm just going to bring the shadows up a little bit. Just bring out a little bit of detail in the actual foreground. Um, contrast up a touch, clarity up just a touch just to make it a little bit crispier. Now I can see that there's these little green, the green areas in like this bit. So I'm going to brush over that later and bring those out even more. Same with probably the, the waterfall here. I want to make that like a, a deeper blue and more, more punchy. So we'll get to that. That's a good start to, to go with. I'm going to hit K again and we're going to start brushing these little bits. Um, bring that down a touch. Get more specific with what I'm actually looking to highlight in this image. So I'm liking the textures in this just here. So I'm going to bring the clarity up just a touch and you see it. See it just like slowly coming up. A little bit of exposure. I don't want it to go over the top because there'll be there'll be grain in that image. But just a little bit. Now I've you can see that I've highlighted a lot of this area. If I want to go and remove some of it, I'm just gonna hit Alt, which is the minus button, and I'm gonna remove this section here. Just want to highlight the edge to you know, make it more defined. Maybe just a little bit down here. Some of that. Do pretty much the same thing with that bit. Just going to bring it out, bring that up a touch, bring the clarity up a touch. Now it's looking. Now we've got some details, some like some really fine details in the image. Just going to hit full screen and see what it's looking like. Alright, it's looking good, it's looking good. I'm going to work on the sky a little bit more above, but we'll get to that in a little bit. For the meantime, I'm going to go and work on the actual water and that long exposure effect that I've got there. So, let's hit F and dive back into that. Zoom in, go to Command Plus. I'm going to zoom into this water section here. Hit K, learn your short keys, it saves so much time. Bring that up a touch. Now I'm just going to paint over this kind of this whole section because I know that I'm going to use that range mask and mask out certain sections. Okay, that's pretty much there. All right, we'll bring that blue down just a little bit, the green down just a little bit as well, just to give that a little bit more of a you know, make a make a punch out a little bit. Then I'm going to raise the clarity of this section and the highlights. And drop the shadows. And I want that's to bring out this area here. You'll notice it then stands out just that little bit more. That's looking pretty good. Zoom out a touch. I've got my details there that I, I want to bring out. The water's looking pretty good. The sky's looking okay. Kind of want to. I kind of want to make the sky just like pop just a little bit. So I'm gonna brush in this little area here. And I'm going to raise the clarity there. Raise the dehaze as well. Right. In terms of brushing, that's pretty much everything. I can see a little person over here. It's just a little bit distracting. So I'm just going to use the spot remove tool. And I'm just going to hit that as though it was a spot on the sensor. And he's gone. Bye bye. Oh, bye bye. The brushing's pretty much done there. I'm then going to go retweak everything. So I'm going to raise these highlights there. I just want to affect just the top. Make that really pop. Actually, I might brush that little guy. Hold on, let's do that. I'm going to bring that red out of his jacket. Make him stand out just even more. Super small little guy. Let's bring that right down. I'm just going just gonna to give him a little painting. And then I'm going to use the other feature on the brush masking. I'm going to go color. Wait, I'm going to go color. And basically, I'm going to hit this tool. I'm going to hit his jacket. And I'm going to hit range mask and option to see what I'm affecting. And it's pretty much dead on. That way I can just kind of like paint around and then select what I want within that selection. Does that make sense? That makes sense. Does that make sense? I'm just going to make that a little bit brighter. Just make him pop a little bit, a bit of clarity. Yeah, we'll want more of a touch as well.
Now that figure definitely stood out before, but now it's just like a little bit, just a little bit, a little bit, you know, the little things. Let's just bring up K and I'll show you how many brush strokes there are in this. So there's three on the sky, there's one on the gut, on the figure, there's two on the foreground here, and there's one on the water. Oh, there's three on the foreground and there's one on the water. So that's a lot of brush work. But you can be more specific and more deliberate with what parts of the image you're actually editing. Alright, so just recapping, a few things to remember when brushing. Don't try and do it all at once. Don't try and use one brush tool to like do the whole image. You can just keep adding or keep subtracting, like add just it's just a, a back and forth until you find exactly what you like. Second thing is the range mask. So you can brush this whole area and then use the range mask to like figure out what parts of the image to depending on what color or what, how saturated or how dark or light the image is. You can use those and balance that out to affect exactly what you're after there. Also, third thing, you can create your own custom preset brushes. So in just next to effect, you'll see custom at the top there. There's all of these options down here that you can use. They'll, they'll bring up presets. Um, and say if you've, you've got something you really like, like for instance, where is it? This one with the sky. Where I'm affecting pretty much the whole sky. And I wanted to bring the colors out, but soften the sky as well. I could go into custom, go save current settings as new preset, and write soft sky. Actually, I might keep that. It's probably a good idea. Probably a good one. I use that a lot, actually. But yeah, and then from there, you can literally go in and be like, oh, I want to use soft sky. And then whoop, brush up the sky. But yeah. That's uh, that's pretty much brushing. I use it in almost every image. Um, I use it predominantly for landscapes, but you can use it in any which way, like softening skin with portrait photography, darkening Im images in product photography, like make things pop, make subjects stand out more. There's unlimited ways you can use this. Well guys, I hope you found that interesting. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you've got any more questions on it, anything that it, I didn't cover or I could cover better. Love to just help out. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. It actually really does help the channel and it helps more people get value out of this. So if you got value out of this, please do that as well. We'll see you guys next time. Uh, I don't, know. don't know what we're going to do next. What can we do next? Maybe like what's in my bag. People ask me all the time like what gear they actually use. Oh shit, a lot of stuff in my bag. Let's do that. What's in my camera bag next week?